I think we've established, I really like rugged smartphones. The glass lamp phones are pretty, and I do carry mine when I go out. But to be honest, if you want a fast smartphone with a great camera, there are really only a few top choices on the market at any time. There are loads of channels doing a great job revealing those, but I mostly like to focus on smartphones that will hold up in the workshop or on the job site. I do want to mention one thing though, whether you are getting a glass lamp or a rocket phone, estimate two to three years of use. Cell phone batteries only really recharge to a full capacity for about two years. Now that phones have built-in batteries and those batteries are such a hassle to replace, generally that's the usable lifetime of a smartphone. There's still lots of stuff you can do with them after that, like turn them into a file server or IP camera, but they aren't going to be very useful as phones. Don't get a rugged phone because you expect it to last longer than a glass lab phone. They won't. A rugged phone is best for those of us who break our phones before they ever get to be two or three years old. They just hold up to much more rough handling. But this durability usually comes at the cost of some specs. They can't dissipate heat as efficiently so won't be as fast or as suitable for gaming and the cost of materials is higher so expensive components like the camera usually take a hit. The camera in your rugged smartphone is usually going to be more for taking a picture and adding measurements to it for a client or taking a photo of something you build for your professional Instagram account. These aren't going to be for taking beauty shots but that's not how they're priced. Or who usually buys this? What I have here today is the Ulefum Armor Knight on, now on Kickstarter. You saw me reveal the Ulefum 3WT earlier. That was a great phone for the price. The Armor Knight isn't a walkie-talkie phone, but it does have some unique features that could make it very useful around the shop. Let's open it up and take a look. Yes, this has a SIM card tray, no SIM card tray. Oh yeah, that's the SIM card tray. And the user manual. This one has a screw screwdriver. It has four cameras on the back and several LED lights, which should be very bright. Let's turn it on and find it out. and also enroll my fingerprints. Okay, fingerprint edit is very fast, faster than the other rocket phone. Wireless update. So like most of the rocket phones, they are running uh, stock Android. This one is running the stock Android 10. Um, it's nice and clean, nothing special. But let's get into their unique feature. So this does have the thermal function. It has the same app called MyFur, like the one I reviewed before, the Blackview. B3 9900 Pro I reviewed before. I think it's the same app. Probably they use the same sensor too. Let's take a look. Now let's take a video on my workshop. My AC is on now. And you can see the AC part is darker than the other part. The window is much brighter. And then let's compare it with the BV9900 Okay.
Oh, and I forget to unbox everything. It does have the glass protector. Um, I'll put it on, on later. And uh, the charging cable, USB cable. And there's uh, adapter and the USB-C converter. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to show you the Armor Night camera so that you can see if it's good enough for what you need to do. Okay, now I'm using the back camera to film what I'm doing. Isn't this nice? This is my new CNC milling machine. Don't worry, you are going to see more of this. But now I haven't turned on yet and haven't do anything about it. Okay, now I turn the camera light on so that you can see the effect. This is, uh, let me show you a little something about the milling machine. So with the light on, inside there is no light, just my camera light is on. You can see my milling machine is huge. So right now I switch it to the selfie mode. You can see how it looks like. Okay, in addition to the front camera, this phone has one more trick up its sleeve, the endoscope. Let me show you how it works. So, on the other side of the phone, so this screwdriver is for the screw here. So you unscrew this. Finger tied it. It seems pretty sol solid. And you don't need to download uh, the app from any link because it just comes in the phone. Okay, it's called InScam. You see the light is on. Now there's a couple of small LEDs right there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, use it on my new machine, new milling machine. I think this would be very good in trays or engineering. I think it would be great. So, but let's take a look first. Let's imagine there is a problem deep in the machine and I can't get to it. I'm going to use this camera and I'm going to take a look. For such a small camera, the resolution isn't bad. It's perfectly fine for troubleshooting. Unfortunately, I did not have time to go out and do more thorough testing with the Armor Knight. Unifone only has a few days left on their Kickstarter and they asked if I would not mind pushing through a quick review. I think I have a good feel for the product though, so here are my thoughts. I love the trend towards adding thermal cameras in smartphones. Once you get used to having them, you find loads of ways to use them. But my issue here is the same as with the Blackwheel BB9900 Pro. The lack of a fewer screening function in the MyFloor app, all they need to do is add face detection and a high temp alarm function and the phone is so much more useful. Fever screening is incredibly effective for reducing the number of infective individuals in any given space and is used all over Asia. It would make one of these phones an absolute no-brainer for doctors, nurses, public transportation workers. Anywhere you need to spot individuals running a high fever while maintaining social distance. As far as the thermal camera and most basic function go, functions go, the Armor Knight is pretty much a head-to-head -head competitor with the BV9900 Pro. The Black Wheel is more compact, the Armor Knight is more rugged. If you are an engineer in office troubleshooting PCBs, probably the Black Wheel is a bit more suitable. If you are a technician or mechanic working in the field, the Armor Knight wins. Where the Armor Knight really pulls ahead for people in the trays is the Endoscope. USB connected endoscopes are pretty flaky and unreli unreliable. They aren't serious working tools. 
By connecting it firmly to the body of the smartphone, Uniform makes an amazing tool for high rack technicians, all kinds of mechanics, anyone who has to look into small spaces. Pair with the thermal camera, you have the best smartphone on the market for anyone in the trace. It's a real functional professional tool, not a toy or a gimmick. Final verdict, buy the Blackview BV9900 Pro if you wear khakis and work in an air-conditioned office. Buy the Uniform Armor 9 if you wear overalls and you are the one installing air conditioning in that guy's office. Links to both phones are in the description box. That's it for today. I'll see you all next time. And remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.